Hi, Brian McAvoy here uh, with Inside Out Trading on YouTube. I'm known as Trader Brian. And finally, I know it's been a while, continuing with the uh, how to treat your trading as a business. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is really important. This is how to put your trading system on steroids. You're kicking into turbo. Um, the, you're, in your trading business, uh, your, your system is your machine. Uh, I, mean, it, it, I like using analogies in manufacturing because that's where I worked for years as a quality engineer. And uh, one of the things that we focused on there was process control and continuous improvement. I mean, that was how money was made, I mean, big time. Uh, the quality effort is uh, tremendously profitable for those who pursue it. And that's part of why I share these things with you is some of the quality aspects. Now, what we're looking at today is the, the continuous improvement cycle. Uh, first thing you have to do with any process, and your trading is a process. Any activity that's repeated on, uh, you know, repeated on a regular basis, it, it is a process, or you have a process for it. And that's what your trading system hopefully provides: is you know some clarity to your uh, to your process and some order. Now, the way to really uh, make substantial improvements to your trading system is to first of all measure it and measure certain aspects of it. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to monitor it over time and use that feedback, uh, the, the measurements that you get over time, or through backtesting. So that's one of the cool things about trading is you can backtest it. You can take your you can take your system and run it through historical data, real data, and and see you know what its uh, performance aspects are. And so you can back test it or you can forward test it. Uh, if you, you know, when you want to take your system and maybe just trade it in a demo account or trade it with money, the, the choice is yours. Um, it, you probably already have some data. But anyway, you want to analyze it and look for certain aspects of it, not just is it making you money or not. Uh, with any process, there are certain aspects that are going to control the overall output of your process. And so what you want to do is focus on those, uh, those aspects. Now, some of the aspects that you want to focus on would be such things as your winning percentage, your profitability overall, uh, or well, not your profitability, but your profit to loss ratio specifically. Uh, what your average win is, what your average loss is, uh, you know, what your risk to reward is on an average basis, and with real numbers. Not what you, you know you think you're doing going into the trades, but actually, you know, what what your real data shows. You know, what did you really risk on those trades, and how much did you really make on them? So these are the things. These are the kind of things that you want to measure. And again, as, if you do this over time, or again, you can back test your system, and you can take that information, and then you can go into the continuous improvement cycle. You take that feedback, you put that back into the process, and say, all right, well, if I make a change to my system, or uh, if I want to adopt a new system, uh, you can run the numbers on and compare the two and see which is better. Now, if you're thinking about making a change to your system, see, this is where it gets really good. Say, you know, you get your system, or you, you run the numbers on your system, and you find out what your metrics are, and you see that maybe they're satisfactory, and you just want to make improvements to your system. Well, what the best way to do this without losing money, this is how you stay money ahead all the time, is if your system's working and it's making money for you, what you want to do is you make whatever change, you know, add an indicator, you know, change the timing, whatever, whatever change you're looking at making, and you take that system with the change and treat it as a separate system, and then you run the numbers on it, like I said, through back testing or forward testing in a demo account, and this way you're not risking any money to find out if this is going to be profitable for you, if it's better than what you're doing now. And if you do this on a regular basis, and, and you can make you know, incremental improvements to your, to your system's performance, well, you can make huge improvements over time. I mean, if, if you're, you know, like once a month or maybe twice a month, you know, taking a look at your numbers and, and you know, making sl slight changes here and there, maybe some of them are more profitable, so you go with those, and now that becomes your control. You, you know, you look at the change, and that's not as profitable. Great, you didn't risk any money on it because you're doing it in back testing or in a demo account. Cool, you stuck with what was making you money. Well, by the end of the year, you can, you know, see substantial improvements, you know, 10, 20, sometimes even 50 or if you really, you know, depending on where you are now, you, you can double your profitability in a very controlled manner and a very low risk manner, but you do it through a very measured and calculated way. And that's running your metrics and looking at the specific performance aspects of your trading. Um, 
and as far as your business goes, that's one of the beauties of trading is that you can do this. Um, trading is the only business in the world that I know of where you don't have customers. It's you and the markets. So you can test things on, with your real environment, your real circumstances, and see if something works. Any other business involves customers, so you can't just you know test it in a simulation and see if it's going to work or not. Um, but with trading, you can. So you can try things and see if they're going to work without risking money. And that's cool because you're testing your business system, your business model, your trading system. They're, to me, they're, they're kind of synonymous. So um, if you if you you know you follow this, you, first thing you want to do is you, you measure the you know the crit critical aspects of your trading system and its performance, and then you track those, and then you take that information and you feed that back into your process, and then you can make continuous improvements because you're doing it based on real measured data that controls you know the profitability of your system. And you don't rely on trial and error with real money or just guesswork. You can do it in a very you know, confident and, and certain manner because you're doing it in a measured fashion. Now, if you'd like to uh, uh, find out more about this, you can come by InsideOutTrading.com uh, forward slash TPA, and I talk about this some more. But this is really how to take your trading system and really kick it into turbo, and, you know, put it, I mean, just put it on steroids. You can you can make massive improvements to both your trading uh, you know performance and I mean, your trading system performance and your consistency because once you start measuring it and you see you know what's what as far as you know your various metrics, it, it will help you tremendously as far as the consistency of your system. So again, Brian McAvoy with Inside Out Trading. This is part of the series on you know treats trading as a business. I do encourage you to watch all the videos that are here on YouTube. Um, anyway, Brian McAvoy with InsideOutTrading.com or on YouTube. I'm known as Trader Brian. Cheers.